Um, I've just looked for, and I've obviously deleted, I did a road trip home, um, coming back up from um, the Châtelier en Plage. I've deleted it. I've cleared my, I'm always clearing my gallery. I don't know why. I just do. It's automatic to empty what I've, you know, clear off what I finished with. And I thought I'd finished, I thought I'd finished with it. Um, I don't know whether you can see behind me. That's why I've sat here. So you can see the rain which is going to be here it's now just gone 10 in the morning and it's supposed to be like this until nine this evening it's pretty steady rain i've just been down to open up the chickens ida's under shelter and the chickens may or may not come out i don't know this doesn't feel comfortable the way it is i'm going to move you hold on that's better um lighting's poor but i trying to stop me from being in shadow so that you can see enjoy a bit of rain at the same time um i was reading a friend of mine peggy who lives in chicago gets um, very um political uh, she's met obama she's met hillary clinton she's she's always doing something political and she posted something about um Trump accusing Biden of not attending to the needs of um, the um, governor of Georgia, ignoring his phone calls because of the um, the um, the hurricane that has just been experienced. It was is a hurricane, isn't it, down where you live? Um, that's just been experienced um, in uh, America, where hundreds of people, I think, hundreds of people have died um accusing biden of not responding and i'm thinking oh god almighty mr kitchen towel man what what did he do he was a bastard back when um i can't remember the name of the hurricane i'm sorry but he just was i won't swear but he really isn't um the best person to be talking about what what biden's doing um and there are some insane comments on my on my trump fakery vlog there are some insane comments i'm just absolutely gobsmacked that anyone can absolutely believe that the better person to be president is the felon is the pussy grabber is the predator is the failed businessman, is the, I can't go on because it's such a long list, such a long list, but I just can't believe there are still people that, that are in his thrall, I think the word is. And I think it just goes to show how polarized we are because I'm, I know many of you are like, what, what the fuck? And then there are others who absolutely believe he is the best thing since sliced bread. It's just, Unbelievable. I'm not I'm not responding. Well, I'm responding here, but I'm not responding to the comments. And I'm sure that the people that come along who made those comments, I think what happens is people make comments like that and then they move on. They don't come back to see if you've replied or or to check anything else. They just throw away comments. So but yeah, I was just stunned to read a couple of them. It was like, oh my god, oh my god. Um we are oh, so we've got this all day we had uh, ludo was here all day yesterday hedge still hedge cutting um and he was due back this morning he's done them all now the front hedge is done and the top of the the side hedge is done but he's still got to clear up um and he was going to come back this morning to do that but obviously not in this so he's coming thursday allegedly um so that and the chimney sweep came um, I went and get had a blood test, so I left the chimney. I didn't, I wasn't here for the chimney sweeping. I do like to be here when stuff's going on, so I was a bit disappointed to miss that, but I had to go off and have a blood test. Um, and then we sat down yesterday evening, and I'd got quite chilly, and I said it'd be quite nice to have a fire, so Mark lit a fire, and it was too hot. And we got loads of hornets down again, so we've got the carter in here. They just... The heat of the fire um, sends them down and um, 
we spent about half an hour between us hoovering up hornets. Um, talking about pests, we've got a massive mouse problem down in the chicken run. We are going to go down there later with traps and set them, but the mice are so tiny, I don't even think they're setting off the traps. But when we went down, I don't know whether it was when we got home, opened up, or when I went down and opened up, which would have been Sunday afternoon. No, Mark was with me, so it was at another time. There were just mice everywhere, dancing everywhere. I counted probably 10, 12 tiny mice. Um, and Mark said, well, really, what, what, why, you know, why is it a problem? And I went, well, because they're peeing and pooing in the food, which can't be good for the chickens. I don't know whether mouse pee is as bad as rat pee is, but anyway, we need to go and set traps. We've tried the humane route with many of the things that we put up with, the hornets, mice and whatever, humane traps. But at the end of the day, it, it doesn't solve the problem because they come back and we don't want them to come back. So that's the plan later to do that. Um, we I had a day yesterday of not being able to get on top of my hunger. And I think that was down to... Um, it's just really not very good at the moment. My tripod is a bit wobbly and I'm not sure which bit to tighten. Um, I couldn't get on top of my hunger yesterday and I think it was that we'd had Saturday and Sunday of not enough food. And um, so my body was wanting me to top it back up and get back up to speed in, in what I would normally eat, which isn't loads. But I just couldn't, every time I ate, within an hour, I was still hungry. Um, on Saturday, we had a salad at lunchtime, which was a small supermarket salad. It wasn't anything massive. And then we waited all day from half 12 through till half seven for the evening meal in the restaurant, which was not sustaining. It was, um, I, uh, it was a... Uh, fish like a fish stew but it was a very thin sauce with some root vegetables in it and um, a piece of fish which I think might have been ill eel might have been ill it was pretty dead by the time I ate it it might have been eel and I haven't eaten eel before but it I just think it it looked like something that that, that would have been eel shaped it was fine but it just wasn't enough and I don't mop up the soupy gravy sauce with bread because I don't eat bread so I wasn't able to fill up on bread so that was that and I hadn't ordered dessert but because it was such a thin meal I decided to order dessert so I had cafe gourmand but again that wasn't it was um eel flotant which I hate um some sort of panna cotta which isn't a, the sort of panna cotta I'm used to and what was the other one? There was a small, small something. But none of those were very um, filling. They were just tiny, as with it, Cafe Gourmand they are, um, tiny little desserts. So that was that. And then we got up and I actually had breakfast. We had breakfast um, and they were just two small pan au chocolats I had and a, and a coffee because we had planned to eat in this restaurant at lunchtime. But after um after breakfast and talking about it i said to mark um the meal last night was nothing spectacular it didn't hit our level of um i can't think what the word is but it just didn't come up to the sort of food that we're used used to um and i said uh, hanging around here for lunch only to still feel unsatisfied isn't really going to do it for me. I'd rather come home, which is what we did. So we came home. and, and um, But even then, I hadn't got anything planned. So I'd in the freezer for those times when I haven't got anything planned and um, I need to do something quickly, I just open a packet of, I call it a ready meal. It's a packet of, what did we do? It was an Indian style. So it was chicken and rice and a pineapple and various bits of other things, curry flavour. Um, 
And I just opened that and cooked that up for us. And again, that's not a lot. And then in the evening, I did an omelette with bacon. Um, so those two days over that weekend, we didn't really eat. I don't think we ate enough food. And um, I just struggled yesterday, but I feel better today. It's coming up for half 10 when I normally start to feel hungry. And I'm not feeling hungry. And um, I've got a, I've got chicken. I bought a, a, a pre-cooked chicken from Intermarche last night. Um, and I'm going to do it with jacket potatoes and baked beans. So that will be nice. But I feel on top of it. But I just didn't feel, I just felt jaded and hungry and cold yesterday. Now that might have just been after traveling. It's interesting because I didn't drive, drive, uh, Mark drove both ways. I didn't drive, but I think the traveling and and the, it, I think it just all was too much for me. I didn't sleep well. I haven't slept, the, the bed, um, the bed was comfortable, but the pillows, the, those French square pillows, I cannot get on with them. I don't understand how to be comfortable on them so laying um, on my side I felt like my whole neck was pulling I've got problems you know and pain around my neck anyway but I just felt like I was pulling on my neck I did eventually get comfortable but I didn't sleep very well I woke up I could I was awake and could hear the tide come in which was really lovely because I love listening to the sea so I was awake at four in the morning which is when the tide was due to be in heard it come in excuse me and then it was out by the time we woke up and got up so that's it really so we're a wet day and um, Mark talked about lighting a fire later but I got o overwhelmed with it yesterday so we've still got the gas fire in here I think I might use that if I get a bit chilly um so I've had a coffee I've been out down and let the chick well opened the chickens up nearly slid over down there it's lethal when it's wet. So I'm a bit concerned about um, when Mark's in hospital being on my own and um, falling in the garden or slipping in the garden. That always worries me. And I can't, I do take care and pay attention, but sometimes you just walk and the back of my shoe went, the back of my crock went. So um, I do worry about that understandably at 69 years old don't really want to be falling over in the garden with nobody here to help me i must remember to take my phone with me when i'm out there on my own when mark's not here yeah right oh what did he do he did some shredding mark did some shredding he there's a lot of fallen um branches um small branches around from the high winds that we had last week so he shredded them and he's put a load of the, the the shreddings on the driveway where the car churns up the the mud and everything and filled those in again the, it's something that charlie did when charlie was here last year so um they needed redoing so that's good so that's that okay i'm gonna have my second coffee now because i can and um thanks for watching thanks for all your comments hope you're all well um Hope you've got better weather than this and um, yeah, bye.